Hi, my name is Daniel Scarosa, and I work for Pure Point Energy in Norwalk, Connecticut. We are a solar installer, and today I want to talk to you about this device right here, the utility net meter for those of you who actually have a solar system. If you have a solar system, you're going to have a utility net meter installed. That way, you can have the number of kilowatt hours that you're generating from your system be measured by the utility. This uh, utility net meter also, of course, measures the amount of energy you're drawing from the grid. So if you look at this display down here, the first thing we'll look for is what direction this little arrow is pointing in. If it's pointing out to the left in this direction, that means that you're sending energy back to the grid. And you can see that the sun just, the clouds just came over the sun, so it stopped for a second, but now the sun's coming back out and it's moving in that direction again. Now, if that arrow were pointing to the right, that would represent uh, the fact that you're drawing from the grid. So there are two ID numbers that you want to look out for on this display, and we'll just give it a second to scroll through right here. ID4 represents the number of kilowatt hours that you've drawn from the grid, and ID10 represents the number of kilowatt hours that you're sending back to the grid. And that's how you read your utility net meter. I hope that little explanation of how to read your utility net meter was helpful. I understand that sometimes these meters can be a little difficult to read, but in this case, you see, it's pretty straightforward. And uh, I hope you guys will consider going solar in the future.